Hey guys, it's Tessa Jeffers with PremierGuitar.com. I'm in Nashville at Summer NAM, and I'm in a pretty fun place. I'm at Earthquaker Devices booth, and that was Nick Reinhardt from Terra Melos. I'm here to ask Jamie Stillman about four new pedals they have. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I stayed out too late. Yeah, I think most of us did. Yeah, it's rough. Cool booth. Thank you. Yeah, I like the setup. So, uh, what are we gonna hear today? All right, the first one is the Afterneath, which is, we call it the otherworldly reverberation machine. So it's a pretty intense reverb. It goes from, it's at its most subtle, I would say, like a medium short haul. At its most extreme, it's a super glitched out, stuttery, delay, ambient wash, kind of reverb destroyer. So it has controls for dampen, which is a tone control, diffuse, which controls like the spread of the reverb. Length is the K time, which will go infinite. It'll go forever. Drag pulls apart like all the tiny delay lines that make the reverb. So that's how you get your super stuttery, super glitched out reverbs. Reflect is regeneration and mix blends the wet back into the dry. So, so is that basically like reverb on steroids? It can do most reverb tones. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> so I'll have Nick show it. That's wacky. I just got reminded of Pee Wee's Playhouse, like the song on there. <laughs> That'll do. That works. I like it. It's like an airplane hanger. Yeah, it's a Pee Wee's Playhouse of reverb pedals. <laughs> okay, what's next? All right, next is the Palisades, which we were getting a lot of requests to do like a TS-808 Tube Screamer style pedal. And in the world of handmade pedals, there's about 40 million of those. So no big deal. Yeah, right, of course. So I figure if we're going to do one, we should overdo it and make it totally ridiculous. So. These are the two most important controls, the bandwidth and the voice. The bandwidth takes it from super thin to almost not even a drive to super fat and like fuzzy and everything in between. It's really like what, how much low end comes out of the pedal, like where, what point it clips at, like how, you know, just big it'll sound. And then the voice are all the clipping options. So it starts at one, which is wide open, very little clipping, all the way up to six, which is just a super compressed, fuzzy type tone. And that really controls like how open it is, how much output level, how much compression it has. Then there's two channels, uh, gain channels, so you can switch between gain A and B. So you can set one as a low gain, one as a high gain. Then it also has an output booster, so you can like push solos or even use it as a third gain channel, like push your amp even harder. And then you know the standard tone and volume controls. And then it has a normal bright switch, adds a little bit of top end to it. And then the buffer on and off. And it's really something that like you feel more than you hear. Like it makes notes a little bit saggier and stuff like that. So yeah, there's a million options with it. What can you not do? Uh, it won't drive you to work. <laughs> I don't think. It might. I don't know. We gotta keep humble though. Yeah, we need to drive will. ourselves. Yeah, it won't build itself. That's kind of a bummer too. But uh, I'll have Nick show you that. like mad science. Yes. It's a lot of switches. <laughs> Very cool. And so we got two more. Yeah. The next one is a cloven hoof, which is basically a different take on our hoof pedal, which is a really 
I don't know, it's one of our most popular pedals. It's been around a long time. The regular hoof is a germanium silicon hybrid. It's pretty smooth fuzz with, you know, a lot of warmth to it. This is a lot grittier, like it's more voiced in the mid-range. The tone control is more voiced in the mid-range. It cuts a lot better. It's like a more aggressive version of that. It's all silicon. It takes low end a lot better. So like it's really good for bass. And uh, yeah, it seems to be, uh, you know, it's, I, I feel like it's a significant difference than the regular hoof. And it's kind of a good compliment for one that wants something more aggressive. Oh, so it's really good at low end fuzz. Yes. All right, let's hear it. And last but not least? Last but not least is the Arrows, which is sort of just a coloring preamp. Uh, I designed it basically to add another channel of dirt to pedals. It's, it's totally clean, it cuts a little bit of low end, boosts a little bit of mid range, adds a little bit of sparkle. It's basically just EQ'd right to push pedals a little bit further, or so you can like use the neck pickup on like a guitar to push an amp. So it cuts like a, a little bit of low end, but it still leaves enough in there to like still give it, you know. So did you have that on the whole time now? I did not have it on the whole time this time, but uh, yeah. It's sort of tough to show what it does on a video. It's I totally get it. So that's what it is. Um, so are these four pedals available now? Uh, the Afterneath and the Palisades will start shipping in September. And the Cloven Hoof will start shipping in October. And the Arrows will be September as well. It's a lot to remember. It is. Do you want to talk about the pricings at all? Uh, sure. The Afterneath will be two twenty-five. The Palisades will be two forty-nine ninety-five. Cloven Hoof will be one seventy-five, and the Arrows will be ninety-five dollars. of Terra Melos, right? You just did a, something really cool two days ago. Tell us about it. Uh, I was in New York and I made a record with Mike Watt, Nels Klein, and Greg Sonier of Deerhoof. And it's one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. What's it gonna sound like? Uh, it's trippy. It's pedals, it's earthquakers, it's out of this world, just like weirdo rock music. So you like pedals? I love them, yeah. All right, so what do you like? What's something cool that you're doing on this with the new earthquaker pedals? Okay, so the Palisades, uh, my main distortion overdrive was always a tube screamer, but they didn't have that. They have a lot of rad fuzzes and overdrives, but it wasn't. I my, I've been with the tube screamer for years and years, but I also run you know a boost after it and another overdrive to go like gnarly, crazy fuzzy. So when they announced this, it was so rad because it can do every tube screamer you know mod available. Plus, it's got the second gain stage, plus it's got a boost. So basically, this Palisades by itself has eliminated, you know, a seventh of my pedal board or something like that. So that was really, really exciting. And then that Cloven Hoof, 
Um, I always thought the regular hoof was rad, but then when they brought that in, that was like the fuzz that I had been looking for for a really long time too. So between those two, just my gain world has been like, you know, way, I up, upped very high. <laughs> so you're packing lighter? Uh, I mean, I will probably replace some things. I mean, now the now there'll be room for the afterneath, which is rad. Uh, and also the afterneath, just in general, they have kind of like, I feel like Earthquaker does weird and then does just like classic. And so the afterneath is kind of part of the weird family and I love their weird stuff. I mean, afterneath, Arpanoid, Rainbow Machine. I mean, those are like the really, really weirdo things. And I, I love that stuff. It's good to hear your point of view from a player. So yeah. thanks for sharing that with us. Maybe you can play us a little bit more. Sure, yeah. That bit commander is just like out of this world too. There's stuff, I mean, this is definitely like the raddest company ever, just all this stuff. And I don't really think I need to say anything else about. Right, the raddest company ever. So I'm curious to know like what you're most excited about at this show that you really want to show people or explain that you've invented. Definitely the afternoon. <laughs> that's the thing that I'm the most excited about that's new. Um, but you know, I like all the all the weird ones are That's my why favorite. You made them. Yeah, right. We all hate talking about ourselves. I know. Of course, yeah, <laughs> especially me. But I'll do it forever if you let me do it. But uh, yeah, the afterneath, I'm really excited by. It's totally one of those things too, where I feel like when people get it in their hands, they understand it, and you can't really stop playing with it. So I I love that pill. <laughs> yeah, and who could who could resist Pee Wee's Playhouse? You right. know, yeah, of course. <laughs> Stessa Jeffers for PremierGuitar.com.